we hear the word chemical reaction all the time. So when it comes to mind, you're probably imagining colorful concoctions or maybe something explosive. So what does it mean when we say a chemical reaction has taken place? Well, everything around us is made up of matter and chemists study the properties of those matter. And so in a chemical reaction, we say the chemical makeup of the materials changed in some way. Usually one or more reactants are gonna to mix together and form a new substance called a product. All right, so there are some observations that we can make to help assume if it was a chemical reaction. Did it change the temperature? Did it get hot or did it get cold? Did I mix two liquids together in a solid form or we say precipitate from the solution? Is it making a gas? Is it bubbling? Um, does it smell where it didn't before? Or did it change a color? Usually, if we see one or more of these observations, we can assume a chemical reaction has taken place. So, let's see a chemical reaction in action. So here in this bottle, I have placed some zinc, um, so just the metal, and I'm gonna add to that some hydrochloric acid. Fun fact, your body actually makes this in your stomach. Kinda cool. So, here we go. All right, so what's going on? Let's observe what's happening. Hey, I see bubbles. So that lets me know that a chemical reaction is taking place. So what's happening is the zinc, or Zn, is reacting with my hydrochloric acid, or HCl, to form some new substances. The bubbles is hydrogen gas, or H2, also making another compound called zinc chloride, or ZnCl2. So all that hydrogen gas is rising and escaping the container. I want to trap it and see if I can get it into this bubble solution. So this is just a stopper with a hose in it that I'm going to place on top. And so now I'm funneling all that hydrogen gas into my bubble solution. So what do you think is happening? That's right, I'm making bubbles filled with hydrogen gas. These are very special bubbles. So I'm gonna do something with these special bubbles that you should not do at home. And I cannot say this enough, do not do this at home. So I'm gonna dip my hand in these bubbles and I'm gonna hold the bubbles over top of a fire. Do not do this at home. <laughs> All right, so did you hear the pop? Did you see the little bit of flame that may have formed? So those are another sign that a chemical reaction occurred. We call this one combustion. It's when things react with oxygen under the presence of some heat. In this case, my hydrogen, or H2, reacted with the oxygen in the air, or O2, to form some water vapor, better known as H2O. So why is my hand okay? The secret is I coated it in some water first. And so water is capable of absorbing large amounts of heat. And so the thin layer on the outside of my hand absorbed the heat from this reaction and kept me safe. So now that you know what to look for in chemical reactions, check out our website for some safer chemical reactions that you can try at home. Download instructions for this and other STEM at home activities at smv.org stayconnected.